remember, remember the 5th of November. And what better way to celebrate November 5th than to review V for Vendetta? So the plot of this movie is where this masked vigilante named V, played by Hugo Weaving, is a freedom fighter who realizes that the world is very corrupt and it's be being run by a fascist government and V tries to get everyone to freedom and stop the government by doing a bunch of terrorist acts and he rescues a woman named Evie, played by Natalie Portman, and they kind of have to team up together, set their differences, and try to stop the government. This was a really good movie. I really liked this movie. This is a comic book movie. It's based on a DC comic. I guess you probably wouldn't know that, considering it's not a superhero comic. But, you know, for what it is, it really knows uh, what it's trying to do. It is different from the source material in a few ways, because this one, it's more modern rather than, and takes place in the future rather than uh, the than a contemporary setting like the comic, but it works with the setting they're trying to do it to make it more modern. The acting is amazing. Natalie Portman, she's a really good actress, so her performance is great, and Hugo Weaving, her and her and Hugo Weaving do have really good chemistry together. It's probably it's probably my favorite thing about the movie because Evie and V, like their chemistry together is so amusing to watch and they really work well together. Yeah, there is a lot of dialogue, but it does kind of work with the message they're sending. And the movie, it doesn't have a lot of action. I mean, there's definitely some, you know, a couple of exciting moments here and there, but it's mostly a drama movie it's not like a a big action film like a lot of comic book movies it but here the it works because that's what the comic was trying to be and it's it's not like a enjoyable like fun popcorn flick it's more of a movie to make you think and there isn't that much overwritten dialogue like a christopher nolan movie but it's it knows what it's trying to be and I did really enjoy it for a different kind of movie, and yeah, it's Fever Vendetta, I thought was a really good movie, and I definitely see why it was kind of popular, so yeah, Fever Vendetta, if you haven't seen it, it's worth a watch if you want to see a, a more dr political drama movie, if you like those, because honestly, if this movie came out today, people would complain about saying, it's too political, so Glad this movie came out at the right time. So, yeah, if you like those kind of movies, then this will be up your alley. So, V for Vendetta, really enjoyed it. Really good movie. So, that's my review for V for Vendetta. See you next time.